Hello and welcome to this very quick video, kind of service announcement really. Now this is something that I've covered in lots of other build videos and it's about any model that you're using that has either a stabilizer or some kind of flight controller inside and it doesn't matter whether you're talking about a full flight controller with something like Betaflight, iNav, ArduPilot on it or you're talking about a simple stabilizer in a fixed wing or you're talking about a flight controller in something like a multi-rotor, exactly the same. Now this is a common mistake that I see new pilots make and that is to plug the power in and be moving the model while the flight controller or stabilizer is initializing. Now what's actually happening when it's initializing is the accelerometers which feel movement, lateral movement, side to side, up, down, front and back uh, and also the gyroscopes inside which sense turning uh, forces in all three axes are being calibrated at the very beginning. And it's important that that calibration finishes successfully so that the model will fly okay. Now I have a friend of mine who is a tinker for this. So I've actually made him lots of little stickers that says, plug in LiPo and leave. And when I go to flying with him, it's a bit of a joke now. I kind of put these stickers on everything he has because invariably we'll go to the field, I'll put my thing flat on the field, I'll plug the battery in, and I will give it uh, two or three seconds, wait for it to finish its boot up sequence before I move it to let that initialization happen cleanly. Where he will normally plug it in, he's holding it, he's moving it around, then when he flies it, he complains about, oh, it's not flying very well, it's, oh, it's all over the place. And that is the reason why the flight controller hasn't been able to figure out what being still is supposed to feel like. So the big tip from this video, if you are new into the hobby, and you are maybe you've been flying for a long time and you're just getting into the part of the hobby that uses stabilizers or flight controllers. Massive tip is when you plug them in first time at the field, well, any time at the field, uh, make sure that you've got them sat on somewhere uh, nice and flat, plug the battery in, put them down and leave them alone and just give them four or five seconds to initialize and set up and they'll fly an awful lot better for you. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.